Hi, I'm Dr. Stephanie Allard, the Director of Animal Welfare for the Detroit Zoological Society. The Detroit Zoo is home to the Center for Zoo Animal Welfare, and one of the many projects we're conducting in order to better understand animal welfare is focused on the zoo's penguins. And we're here at the Detroit Zoo's Holt Penguin Conservation Center. This is the largest facility for penguins in the world, and it's given us a great opportunity to better understand what's really meaningful for a penguin. When the Penguinarium opened in 1968, it really was a state-of-the-art facility for that time. The way the Polk Penguin Conservation Center differs is that it's really, really increased not only the amount of land space that they have, the complexity of that land space, and by that I really mean how many different kinds of substrates and elevations, uh, even real ice and snow being put into their habitat, but the most dramatic and incredible change has been the amount of water that they now have available to them. They have 10 times the amount of water that they had in the Penguinarium, and that means that they have so many more opportunities to display underwater behaviors. With 326,000 gallons of water at their disposal, the penguins are performing so many more underwater behaviors than we've ever been able to see before. They're able to deep dive, do way more porpoising than they ever could, and that's giving us an opportunity to really examine those kinds of behavior really while we are also underwater. No one has really been able to study underwater behavior for penguins before. That's because in the wilds, nobody can really be in the water with them. And in zoos or aquariums, people aren't able to have this kind of water available for penguins. This opportunity is another way in which the Center for Zoo Animal Welfare's project is helping us to understand penguin welfare. We don't study just a flock, that's the group of penguins. We study individuals, so we really understand what matters to each one of them because at the end of the day, that's what animal welfare is. It's understanding the needs of an individual, how they experience their world, and the responsibility that we have to make that world as amazing as we possibly can.